Assalamu alaikum, my name is Joe Bradford and I'm here to answer your questions about credit card rewards. A lot of people have written to me over the years about credit card rewards and there seems to be this sentiment out there that somehow credit card rewards are a type of riba. Uh, people will mention that and I think the confusion comes from understanding exactly how credit cards work and in fact how the whole credit system works. So, how do credit cards make money, first of all? Credit cards make money in one of three ways. They are either going to charge interest on carried balances. This is when you don't pay your bill, you don't pay down your credit card balance, they will charge you interest on that balance. They also make money off of issuance fees. So some credit cards, they have an annual fee. They'll make money off of that issuance fee. And then the third way that they make money is through what's called an interchange fee. And the interchange fee can go anywhere from 1% to 3% of the purchase that you make. So how does that work? This is, in fact, probably the largest way that credit card companies make money. How does it work? They say to you, okay... Um, here's a credit card. If you pay off your bill in time, we're, we're not going to charge you interest. Maybe even some credit cards don't even have an annual fee. You thinking to yourself, how are they making money? Well, this is what they're doing. They say, okay, if you go to Walmart, use your credit card, buy whatever you want. When you go to Walmart, they already have an agreement with Walmart that when you swipe your card, that they're going to take 3% of the purchase price from Walmart. So let's say, for example, you bought goods up to about $100, right? So 3% of $100 is what? $3. So Walmart pockets $97, and then the credit card company pockets $3. So what does a credit card want to do to incentivize you to spend more? to buy more, to use more what's called POS, point of sale purchases or point of sale machines, which they have at all of these different retailers. They're going to get their money off of the interchange fee from that sale. So they say, look, if you go down to wherever we're accepted and you buy something, then we'll give you a dollar cash back for every purchase, right? So hundred dollars you get a dollar back so essentially what uh, uh, the credit card company is doing is they're paying you a commission for bringing them earnings right so they're saying if you go and purchase from Walmart for every time you purchase up to a hundred dollar or, or two hundred dollars we'll give you a dollar back right now that is what is called in the Sharia, Ja'ala, it is a unilateral contract for performance, okay? It's kind of like hiring a person where you say to them, hey, dig a ditch for me in front of my home. If you dig a ditch so that I can uh, uh, put in new potting soil, I'll give you $10. And if you don't dig a ditch, you don't get $10. And if you don't fulfill the condition that I put, which is dig a ditch this low, then you don't get $10. So the idea here is that I'm offering a contract to someone else. It can, be it can be fulfilled by anyone, but unless it's fulfilled according to the condition that I set, I don't owe you anything. And this is something which is permissible uh, under the Sharia. It's called Ju'al or Ja'ala or Ju'ala, uh, an Arabic name, just for those of you who are studying. The important point is, is when I go to Walmart or any retailer and I buy something I'm not buying something or I'm not getting cash back on interest okay or the, the money that I'm getting back is not interest the money that I'm getting back is a rebate on the purchase price or you could say it is a commission on the purchase price and obviously that goes into are we using our credit cards for deficit spending or for debt spending, but probably cover the differences between deficit spending and debt spending 
uh, in another video. So suffice it to say that whether you're getting cash back on your debit card or your credit card, you're simply rewarded for purchasing uh, from a retailer by your credit card company from the money that they're receiving for providing that retailer a service. What's the service? The ability for customers to swipe debit and credit cards, the machine that's there, the network that it's connected to, so on and so forth. They're saying, look, go and buy from them. I'll split the fee with you. And that's essentially how it works. So that's all I've got for you today, inshallah ta'ala. I'll try and upload more videos, bi'ithnillah. Uh, in the coming days and weeks. You got any questions? You can always hit me up on Twitter at, at Joe Bradford, spelt just like it sounds. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.